I'm gonna show you the basics of how a Gemini gate motor works if you've never used one before and um, this will quickly allow you to learn how to use your Gemini gate motor so this button right here allows you to test the gate so when you press this it's the same as pressing on a button on your remote so let's test it So let me describe it quickly so you understand what all the buttons that you're going to be fiddling with means. This one here is to test it with, so it'll trigger the same thing that happens when you press your remote. This one here is to program a new remote, so when you have a new remote this is what you press and then you press your remote to make sure that it remembers using that remote. And also these are the triggers that you're gonna need in order for you to program the gate the one that's most important that you're gonna be handling is basically this one here allows you to set it as a townhouse when you have this on the gate is gonna open or close and it'll only stop when there's an obstruction in the way and this one here number three is the direction of the gate so when this is up, the gate closes to the left. When it's down, it closes to the right. And this is the timer. Please bear in mind that when you use the timer, it makes the gate close automatically after 30 seconds of opening it. The good thing about it is that it closes automatically without you having to close it. The bad thing about it is that once it's set to that, you can only open the gate but you won't be able to close the gate with your remote. So you can only use your remote to open the gate and it'll close itself. So if something happens midway on this one and you want to stop the gate, you can't do that. Also, if there are robbers or something like that, that you need to close the gate quickly, this, will, um, this won't allow you to do that as well. So I thought this was a good idea, but it's actually not. So, to program a new remote, let me program a new remote. I'll show you how to program a new remote. So, first you press. So, first you press the learn button. And when the light flickers over there, you tick a button on your remote. You take a button on your remote and press it and now you'll see the light flickering over there which means the, re the gate has learned that remote when you press the remote again you have now programmed that remote to work now my remote is working That's basically how this gate works. And this right here is the obstruction thing. So if you turn this this way, it becomes less sensitive. If you send, turn it this way, it becomes more sensitive. That's what this is for. If you have any problem and it's not working properly, if they have a problem with the PC board, make sure that you check this fuse before you take it to the manufacturer themselves also there are different fuses on the power supply so there's a fuse right there's a fuse right here right there and there's also another fuse on the left right there when you need to replace the oil you need to remove this screw and remove this screw and you pour the oil in here this is where you pour the oil okay 